Now once we are done with the get transaction data state, we can proceed to process transaction state. Here there is an error that we can see because this thing is still a queue item inside this flow. So just open that flow and you can see nothing over here. Just try to change this data type to data row. Once that is done, go back to the main and click on import arguments. Then try to pass this transaction item again. Okay, now you can see there is no more an error available there. And here you will be able to see it. So just open this too and go near so here okay just change the type of this to data row okay once that is done you'll be able to see find some issues go right here just delete this and there is no more error available to us go to this and delete it because there's something that we don't need in this particular dispatcher and the same here just delete it okay fine so we are done with this go back to the main and import and right here try to pass the transaction number if required and if there is no need just leave it because we are not using the transaction item over there anymore fine back to the process just open this and right now as we can see there is the queue options available here let me try to create a queue and call that grade queue once that is done, I don't I don't want unique references. I don't want to auto try it. I don't want to set up any SLA predictions. Just click on add. And if you just open this right here and click the transactions, there are zero transactions available right now. So copy this and come back to this. OK, here. So if I just go back to this particular configuration file that we have for this project here there is a name called orchestrator queue name provide this particular sorry there was a mistake over here just provide the queue name that we have mentioned in the orchestrator okay fine just save it and copy this name okay once that is done Go back to your code and here because we have every transaction coming to this process from this particular get transaction data so in this we can use the activity called just type queue and you'll be able to see few activities related to queues orchestrator queues take this add item and then look at the properties of it you can mention the max timeout, the deadline before which this particular transaction or item should be processed. And you can postpone it. You can set the priority. And here you have to pass the queue name to which you want to add the transactions. Fine. So what you can do is go right here because in configuration is available to you. Just click pass that orchestrator name that whatever we have mentioned over there and then dot to sorry dot to string here as you can see i have mentioned the same name that i have mentioned in this thing okay orchestrator queue name will fetch this particular value so that this refers to the queue available in the orchestrator you can just close this because we don't need it just save this okay back to the code i have this and i have to pass the information right now that's something we can pass through this if i just have a look at it i have name 
to pass this thing I have to click name and which is of indirection and type is this then if I just look at the arguments the transaction type is of data row so the first time this will contain this data so to fetch the name what I can do is I can go to the properties of it just select this and go to the properties then in transaction data of column name which is name dot to string will get me that particular value from this so that it will be passed to the queue similarly we have to do it for the rest of the other fields too copy this and go right here paste it and here in transaction data then paste it to string similarly we have to do it for all the rest of the things as you can see I have tried to enter all the details that are available in this particular Excel sheet with their proper naming right here these are the values that you'll be able to see in the queue and these are the values that we have been trying to pass to this particular things okay from the Excel that we have once that is done you can close it and this is done so the process thing is done and we are not supposed to pass anything from process to the main so if I just move on to finally state and open this this particular XAML just right click on this and open workflow here we are and if one is successfully uploaded this the transaction as we know will be incremented and we will try to go to the next transaction such that this particular thing and then this 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 and we don't have though we don't have any business exceptions mentioned over here though this will not be executed ever if this will happen right if this is being executed it will come over here and this will be executed and as we all know that here it will try to retry it and because in our case we have mentioned the retry number as zero it will go this side and it will increment it and it will move on to the next transaction so this is what will happen right now okay